and to think all this time working on the case, and he was just right under our nose. Yeah, nearly four decades after a Chittawaga woman was murdered in Dallas, new DNA technology has cracked that case. And good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. A suspect is now in custody 38 years later. Two on your sides, Leanne Stuck sat down with her family tonight. And Leanne, they are telling you that they hope that this news will bring hope to other families as well, right? Scott and Mary Alice, not only that, the family of Chittawaga native Mary Jane Thompson are sighing a breath of relief tonight. After nearly four decades of not knowing who's responsible for her murder, DNA evidence helped the police make an arrest in the case. Her pictures are everywhere. Her memory stays fresh with the family. Mary Jane Thompson grew up in Cheektowaga. After graduating from Cleveland Hill High School, she moved to Dallas to pursue her dreams. Mary Jane was very, she definitely wanted to be a model. Even being young, she was always dressing up. We, Touching your clothes would be like a no-no. On February 13th, 1984, 21-year-old Mary Jane was going to a clinic for medical treatment. When she got there, they were closed. And then she was taking the bus back, and that's where he grabbed her at the bus stop. Two days later, Mary Jane's body was found behind a Dallas warehouse. She'd been sexually assaulted and murdered on Irving Boulevard. 38 years went by without an arrest. 38 years, Mary Jane's sister will never forget. Yeah, for her life to be ended so fast and so, look, young, before she had a chance to become a mother. I mean, he took that away from her. In 2020, forensic genetic genealogy analysis was done. 60-year-old Edward Morgan's DNA matched the unidentified profile from the swab taken in the 1984 autopsy. And on Friday, Morgan was arrested and charged with capital murder. A person the family says is unfamiliar to them, but he lived right near the crime scene. In fact, as I sit and look out my office window right now, I can not only see the area where the crime scene was, it's only about a mile from my office, uh, but you know, our suspect lived about just a mile further past that. And to think all this time working on the case, and he was just right under our nose. Leighton DeToni, an assistant district attorney assigned to the case, said solving a crime like this takes a team effort with many different agencies. And it's not something they see often. Um, but it's pretty rare. Now, my hope is that with uh, advancements in forensic uh, DNA testing and technology, that it won't be as rare going forward. Mary Jane's family hopes this arrest will help give other families peace of mind who may not have justice yet. It's definitely going to give a lot of people hope that their cases are not going cold forever. Should be finally at peace, knowing that like whoever hurt her that bad is now like in jail and just paying for his crimes. So, and this may hopefully help somebody else. With this unsolved, I'm Leanne Stock.